spend all this time learning to build things, but in a way, learning to build things teaches you how to take them apart. So what I'm gonna try and do is lift this log up and we'll put a tail rope on it and we're gonna swing the scaffolding around and lower it down here. And if that's all going good, we'll bring the sleigh bobs and the sled around. When the first settlers came here, they were definitely off the grid, as it were, living very close to nature. And then you have folks like Anne LaBastille who went back to that by choice, who found something of value there. And during this time in the, in the, I guess it was the second half of the 1960s, this really wasn't something that women did. And she wrote about it. Just throwing out the chainsaw so we can use it to cut off some planks on our hoist platform. We put together a little crane I used to lower stuff down. This is, a, it basically, we haven't tried it yet. I've taken a, a device that's on the market and reused it for construction purposes. Then we number everything. I probably spend as much time marking things as I do taking them apart. I, I think she should have stopped when she built the, the quintessential mm -hmm. cabin. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, people do it all the time. We all do it. We're all guilty of wanting a little more space. And she just kept adding on and adding on and adding on. And when we got it stripped back down to where it was just the porches in the cabin, it was like, wow, it's nice. Go to the shack. This is the this is the doggy door. John says you got to put a piece of canvas for the door, and just then the dog walked in. And I said, "Yeah, the dog can let themselves in and out that way." It's amazing space, you know. Like you walk in that log cabin, and you walk in here, and they're almost identical size, mm. and they got a whole different feel about them, you know. And this is for us is really functional. It's a three-phase contract. And one phase is to take the building down and the second phase is to clean up the site but right now we're just working on the actual log cabin which we'll probably have on the ground by Friday and uh, so that's one phase and and, uh, and then transport to the museum well we're going to put it inside so that's going to be a little different um, <laughs> Uh, taking care of a historic structure like that, particularly a log structure, can be a little problematic, so it's going to last much longer. It'll be like being in her place all over again. So this, uh, this actually pivots and rides on that piece of metal, and then the, the one behind follows it. I mean, other than going to the museum, we, we literally have hardly seen anyone all winter. And that's okay with you? I love it. I think, I think Americans have always liked the little cabin in the woods 